Hey everybody, it's Jeff. This is going to be episode 40 of the uh, Thunder Model Scammel Transporter Build 135th scale. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Carl's Scale Modeling. Uh, last night, or yesterday afternoon after I finished my video and everything, he invited me to come on his live chat. So. I uh, went on there and met some really nice people and we chatted for an hour. Well, I, I chatted for an hour. I had no idea how long they went, but there was probably seven or eight people came and went different times on the show. But anyway, Carl, I had a really good time and thanks for inviting me. So I'll put a link to Carl's channel in the description if you want to go check his channel out. Okay, let's go down to the bench. Be right back. Oh, let's see here. I've been doing a little bit of work with stretch sprue this morning. I've still got more to do, but uh, the joint here and here I wasn't happy with. So I stretched a little bit of sprue and uh, put it in here and make it look like a weld seam as best I could. Did that on both sides. And also in here where the... Uh, opposite side of the seam as I'm, I'm doing that. Basically all you do is stretch a small piece of sprue and then cut it to fit and put some glue on it. Wait for it to soften up good. And then find yourself a tool. Uh, I've been using the end of a pair of tweezers just to put a little bit of a texture on it to you know, make it look kind of wrinkled like a like a weld seam how much or how little you do I guess is whatever you know whatever you uh, want to do it takes a little while for this stuff to start softening up but I think it looks better. I think I'm going to do around here also because it, it just leaves a little gap there where the uh, the parts come together and I, I don't really like the way it looks. I might do a couple other spots but I'm just trying to make it look a little more finished. Oh, this is starting to soften up here. Just a matter of getting it in the position where you're, you know, where you can work at it. And once it, once it's all done, I can take a little piece of sandpaper and, you know, kind of knock it down just a little bit, make it look a little better. Yeah, it's softening up. So, it just makes it look a little more realistic, rather than just a square corner. And this one kind of had a square corner with a gap, because the parts didn't really come together real good. Just a matter of taking your time and putting enough glue on to get the parts to soften up and then I think I'm going to do and I've still got a little more to do there but um, I think I'm going to do a cross here also and, and I think maybe I'll do it up here too just to give it a little more uh, interest and, and the same thing over here. I'll probably have to stretch a little more sprue. Just cut a little piece. You see this a lot in tanks where people are trying to duplicate weld seams. Just gives it a little more realism, I think. 
let that soften up a little bit. Okay, I'll put a piece over here also. Let's see, best way to do that would be maybe like this. I did cut the jack handles off. I've had a number of you guys telling me that, yeah, they didn't think that they would be on there permanently, and I agree. So here's here's our jack handles here. I don't know if I'll try and display them somewhere on the trailer or just uh, throw them in the extra, the spares box. a matter of keeping at it making it look a little more realistic um, well this well that softens up a little more I've got some more pieces here that I cut out this morning um, got a little bit more to do on the ramps and stuff back here and then these are supposed to be um, I'm assuming some kind of little guide that would go on here and they drilled a whole bunch of holes I'm not sure just what for doesn't really make sense but you only need one set of holes so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna maybe stretch some sprue or maybe just use some super glue and I'm gonna fill all these holes except for the ones I decide I need I'll have to get the get the bulldozer and set the set the main part of it with the tracks on it on there and figure out the distance but I don't see any point in just leaving all those holes they, you, there's one two three four so we got eight bumpers to put on and they've got must be over a hundred holes there for them so that's something I'll work on off camera um, there's also these two little plates that would fit here and I'm thinking that they would be put there while they were loading but not while they were moving um, I think the wheels would probably come up and hit them and uh, also the way the ramps come up there's a little bar on the ramp that comes up that actually drops below the surface here so that would kind of be in the way so more than likely I'll paint these up and just just um, put them up here or something store them and I've got some pieces that will go on the sides back here um, guides for the for the cables they've got a little fork in the end I don't know if you can see that or not let me show you in the instructions what I'm talking about. Get my glasses here. Okay. Um, we've got this part here that needs to go on. And here's these little bumpers right here. Now there's, there's parts in the kit for like a little shackle. And they are extremely delicate. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use them or not. Uh, I've still got some PE I haven't even cut out yet that goes on the side that will hold these little uh, triangular supports if you're going to put the extensions on the ramps. So let's see here. Yeah, see here's those shackles. These are actually broken in the on the sprue still. And I'm not sure just how good they're going to work. But uh, I've cut out, this is that fork and little bracket that goes with it. Here's those two plates and those little uh, guides. Okay, the, those forks, <clears throat> excuse me, those forks are H9. Okay, they only show it here once. Um, but when you start getting down here, 
uh, I marked it as H9 again because it's, it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. Then there's also a piece that's H23 uh, and K10 and 9 that you put together and they actually go through a hole in the ramp and then they actually sit down below the level of the trailer while I, I'm not sure if that's just a way to hold the ramps up or just how they do it but uh, obviously they can't be in place when it's being transported so there's a few things here I'm not sure of on the back side here there's like a wrench where this H23 goes through the ramp and you put that on there to actually hold it in place since I'm going to be doing it in the up position I'll go ahead and put those on there and I think this end here will probably glue somewhere down low uh, to hold the ramps up in place and then we'll have the cable too I'm not sure about those shackles so they are extremely fragile this is the way the ramps are supposed to look when they're up okay and I've got to put these little boxes on here that got a hand crank in them that would hold the uh, hold the cable up, hold the cable end. They show you a lot of detail about how to rig something up when you're going to uh, haul it, but I kind of want to leave the bulldozer to where I can take it off the trailer. So I'm not sure if I want to go to the trouble of actually uh, anchoring it down or not be a decision I'll make soon anyway uh, let's go back and take a look here okay let's see if this is softened up enough I can do something with it a little bit let me put a little more glue on there Once you do this, then you can come back later and and uh, sand it a little bit. Get it to look just like you want it to. Yeah, see that's softening up now. I think that'll look much more realistic having like a, a weld seam on there. Okay, yeah, that's that's getting there. I'll go ahead and do some other stuff. Then I can come back to this. Let's grab the main parts of the bulldozer here. stuff here so this will go here like that This will go here. And I'm going to drop everything. Just trying to get an idea of the spacing between the treads. Well, I can see it. <laughs> I turn the camera off they probably just fall right together I think I've knocked a tread loose there we go yeah I've knocked one loose we'll fix that okay now we're getting there something like that okay
And the way it's looking to me, I'm just looking at these holes. I think I'm going to set those bumpers. Let's see here. I can see better. I think I'm going to set those bumpers on the second hole. Let's see how that will fit. I put a couple of them on there. So there we go. Like that. line up. Here we go. Okay. So I think that's probably where they're going to go. Hmm. Nope, that's going to be too too far out. Let's try at the very last hole. Maybe it's not going to work out to where we can use these. Because this, this bulldozer is pretty narrow compared to a, a lot of tanks. Yeah, I think that'll work. So we'll go ahead and put them put the bumpers on the innermost holes so I'm just going to go ahead and fill all the rest of them um, I probably won't do that on camera but I think that'll look a lot better than having all those and they're not even in line they're, they're all off so I'll do that all off camera let me get this off of here okay guys um So I think the decision, I've got these two here, let's see here, these are not going to be used, I'll just store them someplace, these are the little uh, cable supports that go on the sides of the ramps and they need to be assembled like so we can put those together real quick let's see here whoops got that the other side Okay, there's a real small hole like right here, which I'm thinking was supposed to be a guide to where these are located, but I've sanded it off. Um, hang on a second, I'll be right back. Okay, here's all of our little guides, the rest of our little guides, and here's this other part with a fork in it. So let's go ahead and get that glued. That's going to be a real fragile joint. leave that for a while mm 
Okay. These these will go on the outside of the ramps, something like this. You know, I'll have to figure out where to put them. Like I, like I say, the guides, the keys to locate them are really tiny, and I think when I was cleaning this part up, I sanded them off. So we've got those, and then these. These have actually got a hole in the end of them, or a little, a little slot. According to the directions, they go through here, and they actually go all the way through the back. There's a little hole. If I can, I might actually have. Yeah, I'm going to have to drill that out. The hole's a little too small. But anyway, then these pieces go on the back, and then when this goes up, it goes actually below the level of the of the uh, ramp here. So I can't have those in place, or these won't fit. There's actually a little, little uh, locator on the side of the trailer down here that I'm assuming that that might should glue to. And then there's a little piece here that's supposed to go on the side of that, I guess, to strengthen it. So, I'm going to have to get the drill bits out and drill that a little bit bigger. I don't think I have... Uh, maybe I have a bit big enough. These, these sets like this are not too good. The last three bits I've got here are all the same size even though they're supposed to be uh, different and I think two of them there's no no edge on them at all I'll just take that off let's see here if that's going to be big enough or not not I'll have to get out the the bigger set okay That's, yeah, that's big enough, if we can do it. I don't want to spill any glue. So what I need to do, there's my little, little guides, okay. There's holes right here that just need to be opened up just the tiniest little bit. I think just running the drill bit in there will be enough. Yep, that'll go through now. Okay. Do the same thing on this side. Things getting more uh, fragile every day. There we go. Okay, that should do that. Okay, that'll go through. So the way it's supposed to work. This will go through and then this will go on the back side. And glue in place. Wow. I think that's gonna glue to that. Okay, once I do that, then I can't move these ramps anymore. Okay, well, that should be all right. Just trying to decide what to do. Let's 
there's actually a little key right here that this fits over. Hmm. Okay, well let's go ahead and do it. We'll go ahead and get it and get it glued in. And the part actually has been crushed just a tiny little bit. There it goes. Just the way it was on the sprue. Okay, that's got it. And then we're going to glue this to here. And then we're going to glue this on here. Not sure if those are supposed to go pointing up or down. Let's see. Looks like they're, I've got it the right way. Okay. And then we've got a little angle piece that goes over it. And where did it go? Well, there it is. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yep, that's right. So we need to put a little glue on here. Hmm, okay, well, that's, that's the way it's showing to do it. Then I'll still have to add this over here somewhere. Got to figure out the spacing on that. Okay, let's turn this around. I'll mess with these little guides off camera. I've got to fill some holes here. I might use some stretch sprue. Or we'll see. Those need to be glued on. And let's see. Let's put a little more glue here. Okay. Really afraid I'm going to start breaking something here if I'm not careful. Okay. This will go through here. Through here. We'll glue that on there. spot
Okay, they look to be at the same angle. And we've got this to put on the back. Hope that did not stay. Oops. I bought some uh, of those non-slip cushions to put underneath the floor or the uh, legs of this table helps a whole bunch and you can still tip it instead of, instead of um, sliding now if I bump the table it wants to kind of tip it a little bit okay and we'll glue we'll glue this to here Okay, and then we've got this to put on. And it's angled. Still not happy that that's glued on good enough. Here we go. Okay. Those are on. Like I said, I still got to figure out where these are going to go. I'll have to look at the pictures a little bit more, but my my guides to uh, locate them are gone. Well, I think that's going to about do it for today, guys. I'm going to continue on with this stretch sprue, and I'll put a few pictures up at the end. But uh, in off off camera, I'll work on filling these holes. They really look pretty bad. I don't know. Stretch sprue might be the stretch sprue might be the way to go. I can stretch it small enough. We'll see. But I don't like all those holes. Alrighty. Well, you guys all have a great day. And we'll talk to you later. Okay? Bye-bye.